Every week I spend hours on conference calls with these teams where we focus on the clients we have discharged and the revenue we'll lose because of that. How many more clients can we take? How many hours the BCBAs are billing? How many more techs we need to hire? It's more and more and more. It's not more and more quality. Brett and I had a great conversation last night and I said, uh, gosh, this is a big company. How do, you, how do you manage this? And he said, I do it because it's all about quality. I almost hugged him. I had, would have to jump across the table uh, because that's exactly what it is. It is all about quality. It's not my, about making a fortune. This is the same person. They're always asking the BCBA regional managers why our BCBAs aren't billing 20 to 25 hours to the insurance companies each week and congratulating us when they do. Client intake is a huge focus. Dollar bills. My quarterly bonus is tied to the number of clients, number of hours billed, which doesn't seem right when we can't always take more clients given the staff and the resources we have. I'm a BCBA working in a clinic, working exclusively with pediatric clients diagnosed in the autism spectrum. My direct supervisor, senior manager of ABA at the clinic, the BC also has a BCBA and for the last two to three months has been selling Lulu LaRoe leggings <laughs> during work hours. During work hours. I, I knew I had to put this in here because this talk is so deadly that if we didn't touch on something a little lighter, you'd all walk out. <laughs> so the, the person is writing me to say, this doesn't seem right, is, it, this, is this unethical? Anybody know what it is? It's unethical, what type? What is, what is this supervisor doing with regard to the people she supervises? I'll give you a hint. It starts with an E. Give me an E. <laughs> You're supposed to say e. e. Give me an X. S. Give me a P. E. Give me an exploitation. <laughs> exploitation is what this is. When you take advantage of somebody who is a lower status than you are, somebody you, you supervise, it's exploitation. I, I had to look long and hard to find this because of the next comment this person made. I'm in an awkward position. <laughs> As she is my supervisor and has the authority to terminate my employment, what actions can I take to rectify the situation to protect my staff, hopefully protect my position with the company? So this budding entrepreneur, behavior analyst, exploiting employees in the company and Apparently getting away with it until somebody writes to me. And uh, part of my job is to confirm people's suspicions. When she said she thought it was unethical, and that makes me feel good because I get to write back and I say, Jane, you're absolutely right. This is unethical. Good for you. Because she's found a hidden contingency. Hidden contingency of an amusing sort. Um, 